Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to import hair into Crazy Talk 8 from iClone. Um, by the end of this tutorial we're going to be creating a custom type of hair like the one you see on the screen right here, uh, which belongs to this Harley Quinn type character who's from uh, the new movie Suicide Squad. And I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this in just a moment. But first of all, let's start off with the basics by going into iClone here and we're going to bring in one of our uh, avatars here from our Tokomotion styled uh, character morphs pack, stylized character morphs pack. And we'll bring in our boy Ramon. I like Ramon. He's a cool guy. So let's bring him in and let's apply a couple of different hair templates from iClone to him. So let's go over to iClone and uh, I'm going to pull up the avatars here. Now a lot of the hair templates you can find, a lot of the older ones especially, you can find in the body part section right here. And under uh, CC hair we have a lot of the party fun pack which you can also find with uh, um, crazy talk eight so you don't have to have iclone to have this one and we also have this hair section right here there's g5 hair i like these g5 next gen for male uh, hair types they actually fit quite well in a lot of uh, newer characters uh, if i want i can make ramon like a super saiyan by clicking this saiyan uh, hairstyle right here and applying it to him and you can see it'll apply right away we won't even get the accessory settings coming up because it's saved as an eye hair file and it'll apply directly to our character's head if you want to move it around, we can go to create and just choose accessory settings. And you can see the accessory, the hair is already selected. And then we can just kind of like move it, maybe up on the y-axis a little bit if we want. You know, just get a result like that. And there you go. He's got this nice, funky looking hairstyle. It probably spends a lot of money on uh, on hair gel, I imagine. Uh, but anyways, that's just one example there. You can also like, you know, change the brightness of this if you want. You can, he's going... Power level over 5,000 uh, right here. I don't know if it goes green or not, but uh, maybe not. Uh, you can change the hue and brightness and saturation and everything like that as well. Uh, give him some gray hair. Um, have all have fun with that. I'm going to close this down. Let's bring in another couple of examples here. Uh, maybe this uh, ponytail faux hawk right here. Uh, another funky looking hairstyle we, we can apply to him. You can see it replaces the uh, previous one. We go to create accessory settings. We can bring that up a little bit on the old uh, y-axis there as well. There you go. The sideburns in place right there. And we can move them around. You can see. Looking fancy. And so you can apply any of these, um, you know, hairstyles. As long as they're saved as an eye hair, you can apply it to your character. And that uh, character can be skinny, big, small, uh, tall, anything like that. Let's bring in this fedora hat for one final example here. And I'll show you how you can modify different sections. Um, some hairs may have different sections here. So this one we need to create, go to uh, bring it quite a ways up on the y-axis there. And you can see the uh, hair peeking through on the side there. And if we, uh, you know, move them around, looking pretty good. So here we can select the, uh, we have the hat section right here, which is the actual hat itself. If we want a darker hat, we can maybe darken that down a little bit. Decrease the saturation to make it a nice dark gray hat. And then this Ariel Fedora hat is the actual hair. So if we wanted him to have like brighter hair, we can do so as well. Change the hue, something maybe like a kind of a blue or blonde, maybe something like that. Some nice light blonde hair under his gray fedora. And there you go, we turned Ramon into a uh, stylish hipster kind of person. All right, so let's go ahead and close this down. And let's take a look at now at our Harley Quinn example that I showed you earlier on. Now. Let's load her in uh, really quick. Uh, we're going to be using the uh, Alethea, I believe her name is, on our stylized character morphs. Yeah, Alethea from the stylized character morphs pack again. Let's bring her in, replace uh, good old Ramon here. So you can see her hair is actually saved as an accessory, so her hair will not import along with the character. You cannot import accessories with the character, only the hair will import as well. All right, and let's give Alethea a different type of uh, clothing first. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna. You can go over here to uh, Actor Elements and um, under Body, uh, rather Actor Elements. Here we go. Uh, body, the base folder, and you can apply, you know, all these different uh, templates to your character, uh, different dresses and whatnot. Uh, if you want to import the uh, cloth or the body shape or the texture, you can choose to do so, whichever type of character you want. I kind of like this fancy looking dress, but I have a special type of dress saved out. This is a CT Crazy Talk body file, like the ones you see on the left or on the right there. We import that in. We'll just import in the cloth, and it will automatically conform to our character. This is from uh, iClone Content Pack, though, as well. 
Okay, and uh, we're going to be importing in the hair uh, from the G5 content pack, like I showed you before. The same pack, but this time it's the G5 for female. So again, body part under hair, G5 next gen for female. And let's import in these pigtails. Okay, so we got the pigtails started up here. And if we press play, you can see we get some uh, nice kind of spring effects on those pigtails bouncing back and forth. Now, the problem here is that if we want to uh, change the color of the hair, it's hard to do because we have hair A and hair B. So hair A, uh, hair B, or rather if we select hair B by itself, you can see it's both ponytails. And they both share the same diffuse map. Now this is okay if we want, you know, see both ponytails to be the same color, okay, on the bottom. Um, but if we're like, you know, Harley Quinn, we want to have some really kind of, we're really special. We like to have different types of, uh, different colors of hair on different sides. Then we come across a dilemma. This part is the, uh, the middle part, by the way. Uh, we come across a dilemma where we want to have different colors on different sides. Um, fortunately with this pack, what we can do is let's just go ahead and delete the hair for now. If we go into the G5 uh, pack here in the, uh, con in the uh, content window, let's go to select this female hair without the pigtails. Okay, so now we just have the female hair, the bun here in the middle. And we can also go over to accessories. And in accessories, under next gen for female, we have the pigtails saved separately as separate accessories. Spring enabled accessories. Okay, so let's bring those in. This is the uh, one we're going to attach it to the D section on the head there. Let's go ahead and apply that. Just don't have to adjust any of the positions or anything, thankfully. And let's do the same thing for the other one. Blonde hair tail R, let's bring that in and apply it to the other side of the head right there. Okay, and apply it. You can't apply any accessories, two accessories to the same section, otherwise the second one will replace the first one. So keep that in mind. Okay, so now they both have the uh, you know spring enabled effects like you see here, but now we can modify them separately. So let's go back into our uh, accessory settings up here, and I'm going to save out this hair B. I'm going to select either this one or this one. It doesn't really matter. They share the same uh, diffuse map, and I'm going to save this diffuse map to my desktop. We'll just call it uh, Pigtail. Okay, and I'm going to go to my desktop now and right click Pigtail and open it with Adobe Photoshop. We can probably close down iClone right now to save some old uh, resources. Whoops, it popped up a little too quick there. I think I just closed down Photoshop. Let's try it one more time here. Open with uh, Photoshop. There we go. All right. Now all we need to do here is you know select a kind of funky color like a nice neon green or something like that, and go up to our uh, brush type and choose something that's kind of streaky like this one maybe and um, then choose our opacity, change the opacity down to like a, a value of like 20 or 30 or something like that. And then I'm just gonna make streaks along the bottom of the hair like this. All right, and then we can choose a different color like um, a nice funky cyan or something. There we go. And just kind of, again, I'm doing a really sketch up job, but I'm sure she doesn't really matter. Uh, or she doesn't really care that much. Um, let's try a purple, there we go. There you go. So we got cyan, green, and uh, purple. Lots of little heavy. All right, let's just kind of darken it along the bottom there as well. All right, and we're not going to spend too much time on this, obviously. So we'll save this as uh, let's call it pigtail two. Okay, save it out, and let's go to uh, back to crazy talk, and just double click that diffuse map, and back to our desktop. We'll load in pigtail two. All right, so you can see the funky kind of uh, style on the on that right uh, pigtail right there. Let's try the same thing. Let's go to our desktop here and uh, re-open uh, this. Another copy of it. And let's try a different color. So again, maybe this time we'll choose kind of like a red and orangish type uh, type color scheme. And we'll just try and darken it as much as we can near the bottom there. And let's try a fiery one, like a fiery, fiery orange. All right, so we'll just do this. Yeah, not spending the most time in the world there. And we'll call this one Pigtail 3. Okay, and then we'll load up Pigtail 3 on the other channel. Blonde hair tail right. 
load that up. There we go. All right, so now we have the flame side and the uh, cool ice side, I guess. All right, so she's kind of bipolar, maybe. Which I think stands true in the movie. So let's go ahead and let's uh, close down the hair right now. We don't need to modify any more of these uh, hair accessories or anything. And what I'm going to do now is go up to uh, texture settings. And here we can select the skin and head. If we can, we can save up this diffuse map. If I save up the uh, diffuse map for the head, we'll just call it uh, head, for example. Save it out. And if we go to our uh, desktop here, you can see if we open this in Photoshop, you can see the head right here. Now we can modify all these, all the makeup here uh, if we have time. But luckily, I've already saved a copy of this um, over here. I have this uh, head with the custom makeup on it. If I double click that, you can see we just have basically just a couple of, uh, a little bit of crazy eyeshadow and a little heart on the cheek there. So all I really need to do here is in the texture settings, whoops, there we go. Just double click that diffuse map and load that in. And do, 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 do. there we go. All right, so now we have that kind of funky uh, facial color right there. And then we can go to skin body and probably brighten that up. Um, just try to match it a little bit. I'm not going to waste time going into the skin body and modifying it in Photoshop, but that looks fine right there. I think we're, uh, we're pretty safe right there. It looks fairly seamless. So if you have a face that's like different color, then you can change the body to go with go along with it. And then if I select uh, sleeve tops right here, I can load a diffuse map and load in my custom diffuse map as well. And there we have like the daddy's little girl shirt or whatever it says. And we'll close that down. And one final thing is the accessory as well. So let's go to the accessory, this neck band right here. Um, this is from an iClone pack as well. So this one needs to be modified. Obviously, it looks a little bit too uh, normal for her. So we'll go to uh, create accessory settings. And uh, with our diffuse map, we'll just double click that and load in this uh, pudding one right here. All right. So there we have that custom texture. And there's our uh, completed Harley Quinn. So that's really how you can import in hair. You can import in uh, custom accessories along with the hair, the custom spring hairs. Again, I didn't do the best job of uh, you know creating hair streak or streaks for the hair in uh, in Photoshop, but just kind of wanted to show you the uh, potential for customizing the texture on on both the body and the hair as well. So um, so you know you can uh, do that with the hair and create all sorts of funky looking hairstyles. So thanks so much for watching everyone. Make sure you check out our other tutorials on Crazy Talk 8.1 and check out our forums at forum.relusion.com and I'll see you in the next video.